Hello friends and welcome to day three? Three, four, four of our vlog of making an album in uh, five days, which is gonna get a name update because we realized doing a whole album is was a little bit too ambitious. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to compromise the ultimate quality of the track, so yes, we're of go course. for an EP, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's we're gonna go for an EP. We're gonna do four tracks, maybe five, maybe four. We have four. Basically, this is the fourth track you're hearing in the background. Uh, because we have a wonderful singer that's going to be on this project also. Camille, uh, artist name is Cuerpos Cosmicos. She's sending us super cool vocal takes already. And we're, we're going to integrate some of the vocals today and uh, work on the mastering probably tomorrow. Exactly. Yeah. We're going to finish the track you're hearing right now in the background here. The last track is one that Sander primarily wrote. We're gonna work on, uh, yeah, on, on making that into a full track in a sequence. Also send it to Camille so that she can record her vocals. And then we're gonna start integrating the vocal takes she has already sent us. And then I'm super looking forward to doing the mix downs and the mastering using Sander's really prime selection of outboard gear and converters that he has here. As you can see, we're a bit spoiled for choice on the cool devices that we can use for that process. So, yeah, we're looking forward to that. We'll be sharing you some more updates of this day. See ya. All right, quick update on this track. Uh, we wanted to share this part of the process with you, which is using Loop Cloud. Uh, we've now added some hi-hats and snares, so this is where we're at right now. We decided that we would try to check out on Loop Clown if we could maybe find some atmospheric sound, something for the intro, maybe something with whales? Whale sounds. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> So let's see, <laughs> whale tech <laughs> drum loop, oh God. So as I told you, we have Loop Cloud and a dedicated fader here. And yeah, the awesome thing is that when you click on the audio clip here, and you hit play. As you can see, it's playing now. And then I just put the fader up. Yeah. Drum. Kind of a cool drum loop. Yeah. Okay, so then we like that drum loop. It's kind of fun. So we just hit buy. Again, download. That immediately copies it to the clipboard, and then all you have to do is go into Ableton and hit right-click paste. There's our funky sample we just found. That's really as easy as it is. Um, so let's see what else we can find here. And I'm gonna look for loops, not just one shots. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of sound I was afraid we would find. <laughs> <laughs> God help me. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Kind of works. So the reason. The reason why this works well is because the original is in A minor. If that was a major chord progression, even though we've set the pitch to G minor, it won't work. But it's a really nice way to just find stuff to maybe get you over a bump where you're not really sure what direction you want to go in. Um, yeah, and we just wanted to show that to you because it's a really useful, nice way to progress quickly in the studio. So yeah, listening to Loop Cloud uh, gave us the idea that it would be really nice to have a piano for the break. And rather than look through thousands of samples that are, sometimes you get lucky, but yeah, often it's, can, it's, it's a great place to get ideas as a starting point, but we're actually going to play one in. Because Sander has try it. a little uh, electric piano here that's connected to the studio, so.
so this is the fourth track now done uh, called Horizon we already have a name for it uh, Sander did most of the sequence before he went off to guitar land yeah before I just lazy here in the chair and let you do all the hard work but yeah I learned a lot thanks man <laughs> <laughs> let's play it for you a bit <laughs> that's it for the composition phase of this challenge and now we will send this to Camille the singer and we will start integrating the vocals which she's already sent us we got some vocals in from Camille who is on vacation in Argentina and does not have her equipment with her so she recorded on a cable bound mic of her Apple headphones which I've heard are not bad and it's true it does not sound too bad we're denoising a bit uh, Sanders EQing and uh, then we're gonna fly her vocals in all right friends so that's the end of day four here in uh, Singapore in the wonderful uh, Zervelin music studios and uh, we're actually going to head out now with our families and enjoy Singapore a bit get out of the studio a bit get some food in us get some oxygen and then uh, tomorrow we have some plans yeah it's been an intense uh, four days of making music so we're going to go out for dinner and uh, tomorrow we start the process of mastering the four tracks that we've uh, that we've managed to finish uh, which is going to be a lot of fun and that means before Eric flies back to Thailand on Monday we'll have completed the EP from writing the tracks you know composing mixing and mastering so they should be actually ready to uh, to be released and published uh, by the time he leaves on Monday which is the fastest I've ever worked so that's really cool it used to take us months to work on just one track and we're talking like maybe 15 years ago so it's very nice to see how we've improved this process to make it efficient and I think the sound is better than ever. So it's, re it's really awesome. Yeah. yeah, and then on Tuesday we can have a nervous breakdown. It's gonna be an <laughs> excellent week. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, bye bye. <laughs>